everyone talking about Burning Barbershop by DS and Durga. The notes in this are spearmint, lime, hemlock, spruce, lavender absolute, Turkish rose, burnt oil, vanilla, and hay. And the concept of this, if it's not obvious from the title, was based on a barbershop that was set on fire and burned to the ground, supposedly based on a real incident that happened in the late 1800s. I don't know if that's true or if it's just kind of like folklore for the inspiration of the scent. But either way, I was excited going into it. That sounded, I liked the idea of like the smoky and mint and yeah, the fun concept and everything like that. But I did not find the execution to be to my taste. Uh, when I first tried this, I hadn't tried that many other fragrances yet, at least not niche ones and really not that many others in general. So maybe it was extra challenging to me at the time because of that. In fact, I know it was. It reminded me of a dusty head shop that would be in like Haight and Ashbury in San Francisco or on Telegraph Avenue in Berkeley. I revisited it, you know, three or four months later after I'd tried a lot more fragrances and I could appreciate it more then. It's unique, it's interesting, but given that it does take some getting used to, it does not necessarily smell good at first and that's not something that I want to project to people around me. There would no way I would ever want to wear something just because people around me like it if I don't like it. But at the same time, for things that I'm going to be wearing that people are going to smell on me, I don't want the vibe to be, you stink. <laughs> so if I loved this, I would totally just wear it for myself either way, just like at home and stuff, but I just don't love it. So it has pretty good longevity, decent projection, um, definitely masculine, but it could also be unisex. It's not as masculine as you might think for being in like barbershop genre. I did see someone else say, sort of similar things to me in several reviews including someone saying all i get is a dusty head shop burnt plastic and synthetic toothpaste mint like a half burnt cheap incense stick slathered with toothpaste yikes okay they said that not me but i don't mean to if anybody who does love this i'm not saying that it's bad quality it's not it's definitely not bad quality i don't think that I just don't think that it's something that's super mass appealing and I don't think that people should just go into it thinking like, okay, I like smoky stuff and I like mint, so I'm probably going to like this because it's a lot more challenging than that. I do recommend smelling it if you just let it really into fragrance and you somehow haven't smelled it yet just because it's like interesting to check out. So for that reason, why not try a sample? Um, I'll put a link in the description where you can get a bottle or a sample and some people do really enjoy this. So I don't want to dissuade anyone from trying it if you think it might be for you, but for me, it's just not that appealing. This goes for 190 for a 50 mil. I find that really overpriced. If it was for 100 mil, I think that would be adequate or fair, but I don't think that's really fair for almost 200 for a 50 mil for this, but maybe you will if you try a sample and end up liking it. Um, so yeah, that link will be in the description if you want to check it out.